In this video, we will talk about how to find the empirical formula of a compound from elemental analysis. We first need to introduce the idea of a combustion reaction. Combustion means to burn a compound or to heat the compound in oxygen gas. For example, we have this compound right here. We're going to add oxygen gas and heat. We always make CO2 and water. The X, Y, and Z are just there because we don't know what the empirical formula is yet. Our goal is to find out what X, Y, and Z are. All of this carbon ends up in the carbon dioxide. All of this hydrogen ends up in the water. If we know how much carbon dioxide gas is produced, we can figure out how much carbon is in the CO2 and this is the same as the amount of carbon that must have been in the original compound. Similarly, if we know how much H2O is produced, we can figure out how much hydrogen is in the water, and this is the same as the amount of hydrogen that must have been in the original compound. We will be given the mass of CO2 and the mass of H2O that are formed. We will then use these two ideas that we've learned in this chapter to determine the amount of carbon and the amount of hydrogen we will need to use percent composition and mole conversions. So, if we know the grams of CO2, okay, so for instance, we're given this in the problem, all we need to do is use percent composition, okay, so we're gonna find out how many grams of carbon are in a certain number of grams of CO2. So we're just gonna use the molar masses from the periodic table. There are 12.01 grams of carbon for every 44.01 grams of CO2. 44.01 is just 12.01 plus 2 times 16. And this will give us the grams of carbon. Similarly for water, we're going to multiply by the percent composition of hydrogen. There's two H's in there, so 2 times 1.01 grams of H for every 18.02 grams of water. Okay, again, that's just the molar mass of water. And this will give us the grams of hydrogen. Now, how do we find the mass of oxygen? This appears to be pretty complicated because there's oxygen in the original compound. There's oxygen being added. And then all this oxygen ends up in two different places. Thankfully, there's an easy solution. We will know the total mass of compound that we burned. All we need to do is subtract the mass of carbon and the mass of hydrogen. So we'll take the grams of compound minus the grams of carbon minus the grams of hydrogen, and we'll be left with however many grams of oxygen there were. Now we have the mass of each element, and this becomes just like the problems we've been doing. We just convert grams to moles, and then divide by the smallest number. So we change each of these to moles and divide by the smallest number and we'll get our empirical formula. So now let's look at an actual problem and see what it looks like. So we have lactic acid. It's an organic compound produced in the muscle tissue during strenuous exercise. When this is the total mass of my lactic acid is burned this is the amount of CO2 I make, and this is the amount of H2O I make. And the first thing we're going to try to find is the empirical formula. After, we'll, we'll go ahead and find the molecular formula also. Okay, so I'm going to write out 7.442 grams of CO2. I'm going to change grams of CO2 to grams of carbon. All right, 12.01, 44.01. And this is going to be 2.031 grams of carbon. Make sure you keep lots of significant figures in this problem, okay? Same thing here. I was given the amount of water. So for every 2.02 grams of H, I have 18.02 grams of water. And if I do that math out, I get 0.3416 grams of H. Now this compound... Um, I forgot to tell you that, actually. No, this compound is made of carbon, hydrogen, 
and oxygen, just like the last example we used. So let's figure out how much oxygen there must be. We start with the total mass of the original compound, minus 2.031 grams of carbon, minus 0.3416 grams of H, and I get 2.706 grams of O. Okay, now this problem is going to be just like the ones we've done. We change grams to moles. So one mole of carbon for every 12.01 grams of carbon. And that gives us 0.1691 moles. I'm going to change grams to moles here for the hydrogen. 1 to 1.01. And that gives me 0.3382 moles. And same thing for the oxygen. We're going to change grams to moles. 1 to 16.00, and that's 0.1691 moles. Okay? Now all I have to do is find the smallest number. I divide them all by the smallest number. This is 1. This is 2. This is 1. So my empirical formula is CH2O. Okay, so now I've got my empirical formula as CH2O. In the problem, they told us the molar mass was 90.09. .09. So I look at the CH2O, and I have to figure out how much that weighs. So 12 and 2 is 14, and 16, this weighs about 30. Okay, so the 90 over the 30 gives us 3. So the molecular formula of lactic acid is C3H6O3. And you're all done.